Welcome, welcome. We're working on B jeans today. I've got three ways that I use to get them. The first way I use is to get the B bottler. You'll need a centrifuge, B bottler, gene indexer, glass, lever, piston, pipes, pipe wrench, pipe speed upgrade, and bottles. Place your bottler down, grab three ethereal glass, Put one in front of the bottler, then put a stack of two in front of the first. Grab some glass and encase the area. While you're at it, put a piston facing down at the bottler. Then add a conductive block next to the piston. Add a lever to the block. Put your bottles in the bottler. Make sure there are no holes for the bees to escape and make sure no bees are harmed. Uh, oops. Uh, it won't place the bee in the right area if you are not in the first block of ethereal glass. That bee didn't die. He's faking. Now you can test it. Okay, and he's actually dead now. Now we can automate the processing. Place your centrifuge down Add a pipe to the side, connect up your gene indexer, add your speed upgrades, then give it a quick test run. You can also put multiple bees in the next life chamber. The final part is to add an absorption hopper. Place it down and set the down to items. Then make the absorption area where your unalive chamber is. Do one final test to make sure everything runs smoothly. Now to make the gene indexer work, you need to add a redstone signal. Then it will do its thing. Option 2. The advanced oak beehive and the pokey pokey setup. First build your enclosure, then add your beehives and expansion box. Put the pokey upgrades in. Now add some bees and put in their flower or blocks. Add a pipe to the back of the hive and put in the speed upgrade. Add a chest. It's useful for separating the pipes and refined storage network. Add your pipes to the side and route it to the gene indexer. You don't need a filter on the pipe because the gene indexer only accepts gene samples. It's a very selective storage club. Now add on your importer and the network receiver, link up your network card, set up your transmitter, add your network card, then go add the combs that you're going to use to the importer filter. It'll just run after that. This is the most AFK friendly option, but it's slow. Now option three, set up your enclosure and hive again. But this time, put Bobby upgrades in the hive instead. This setup can get a bit out of hand, so don't AFK for too long there. Otherwise, there's going to be too many bees and you'll lag everything out. The bees for this must be able to breed with each other. Then you just wait till your new baby bees are grown and take them to your bee bottler. What method are you going to use? Let me know in the comments below.